Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the electric guitar tutorial for Glory Come Down by SEU Worship. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm going to be playing through my Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, Pod Go, and HX FX patch that I created specifically for this song. This song is in the key of A, and there's two guitar parts. There's one guitar part that is in drop D, and there's another guitar part that is capo 2. So I'm going to be capo 2, and I'm going to be rolling through all of the first guitar guitar one parts. Okay, so I'm going to jump into verse one and that first guitar part sounds like this. So I'm actually going to reference the frets as they are normally without the capo. So it's going to start on the fifth fret, which is your D chord, A string. And the way that you can pick it, you can either use your upstrokes up and down, or you can use all downstrokes. I like doing all downstrokes because I can get a little bit more power underneath it. So what's interesting about this chord progression is you're going to actually jump to those chords a little later than you would normally on the downbeat of each measure. So it sounds like this. counted it would be like one two three four one one two three four one so then that first chorus for guitar one is just your same chords but they're all on the downbeat and you're just basically you're playing diamonds basically you're just holding out that entire measure until you have to hit the next chord so it sounds like this two three finish off that first chorus with a, a chord it's your your D chord you're gonna play it like a C chord here because you're capo 2 so this is a C2 chord and you're gonna play it on the fifth fret a string and then your ring finger and pinky on the fifth fret B and E string so then there's that interlude and then you're back in on verse 2 and for the first one I was playing on my uh, neck pickup, but for verse two and the rest of the song, I'm going to play on my bridge pickup. So, so then chorus two, you're bigger and you're actually playing chords here. So it sounds like this. It's the same chord progression, so you're going to play it like you're going to play a C chord, but without your first finger. It makes it a C major 7. So it's going to be your ring finger on the 5th fret A string and middle finger on the 4th fret D string, and then everything else is open. Don't play your low E string unless you want it to kind of get muddy. You can also play it that way. And then what you're going to do is you're literally going to shift that up two frets. Starting on the seventh fret. And then your last chord is your E minor chord or your F sharp minor chord. And that's your first finger on the fourth fret A string and middle finger on the fourth fret D string. So you want to play it again? So after chorus two, you're into the breakdown bridge section, and there's a very specific part. It goes like this. So that's going to be your first finger on the ninth fret G string and middle finger on the 10th fret B string. And I'm doing down and up strokes. So down 
upstroke on the G and then upstroke on the B string. And then there's going to be a hammer on pull off here. So your first finger and your middle finger don't move, but it's all your pinky. So it's going to be a hammer on on your B string to the 12th fret. And then strike your G string 9th fret. So then after you build, you're into the last chorus, and there's two ways you can play the chorus. You can either play with really big chords or you can play the lead part. So that part in the chorus sounds like this. So it's just very repetitious and it's the down up. It's very similar to what we played in the bridge section. Except you're starting with your B string. And then you're going to bar your ninth fret, G and B string. Then you're going to place your pinky on the 12th fret B string. And then you're back to where you started with your first finger on the 9th fret and middle finger on the 10th fret, G and B string. So then there's another part in verse 2 that I want to go over that's technically a guitar 2 part, but it's really cool. It uses the reverse delay, and that part sounds like this. So I'm using my volume pedal as well, so when I strike the note, I'm bringing up my volume pedal. So that first chord is going to be your the top half of your D chord, and that starts on the 7th fret D string and B string. And it's the same chord progression that you're doing pretty much the whole song. Then you're going to shift up two frets, and that's your E chord. And then your last chord is your A or your F sharp minor chord just the top half so it's going to be ring finger 11th fret d string and first finger 10th fret b string so with the volume again So the last part I want to go over is the final rhythm part and for this I'm going to need to go to drop D it's what they're playing on the recording so where the drop D guitar starts coming in it starts coming in at the end of the bridge when it starts building and it's a single note part and it's on the sixth string it's kind of really kind of nasty it gets it, it kind of messes with the intonation of the guitar a little bit <laughs> So it's all on the low E string, it starts on the 12th fret. So then it goes to the 14th fret and then the 16th fret. And then when it starts building again, uh, almost to the chorus, it goes. So it's going to be an open D string with, it's like a normal D chord, but it's missing the middle finger on the high third on the uh, second fret. First finger, second fret, G string, ring finger, third fret, D string. And then since it's a, it's drop D, I basically place and bar my, whatever finger you want, whatever finger is most comfortable, my lowest three strings. So my D string, my low D string, my A string, and my D string. And so what that's doing, it's creating a power chord where there's really no major or minor quality to it. It's just a straight up one note and five note. And it really gets that nice, like low, kind of metal sound. So my first chord is a D chord. And then my E chord. 
second fret, and then my F sharp chord is on the fourth fret now. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to pick up the patch for the Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, Pod Go, and HX Effects, feel free to go to the description and click on the link and go to my website to download it. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.